So when you're working with projects and timesheets, it's quite simple. The project app is going to house all the different projects across the organization. If you would like to add a task to a specific project, you can do this two ways. The first way is to drill into the project and click Create. And this will allow you to create a task. And you can always click, well, first of all, it will require you to name your task. We'll just call this uh, Test. And we can either just add it or edit it. If we edit it, it takes us into the specific task as it was added. And then I can save it. And there's my test task. The other option is to test two and just add, and that just adds it to my pipeline. Now, if I wanna edit a timesheet, I can do this in two ways. The first way, actually the second way to add a task is to go to all tasks. All right, and we can see all tasks and we easily group by project. So we can see each project is a pipeline and we can see all the tasks within that project. You can always change views too. And I can then say group by who it's assigned to. So now I can drill into a specific project and see all the tasks assigned to Scott, for example. Or I can see all the tasks in list view across the entire system. And I can say, I just want to see uh, all Scott's tasks and I want to see them grouped by stage. You can see he has 18 in kickoff, project kickoff, these three, site visit, right? Or I can say group by project uh, and then also by the stage. Now for Indiana, one review follow-up and drill into it. So those, and if you want to create a new task through here, what you'll do is you just click create. It's a blank task and we should say test three and we can go in and choose a project we want to add it to, such as that project. And then we save it. And now if I go look in that that project, so order three, test three is here, created now. So that should give you an idea of, you have to unlink the, ah, it's linked. So that would give you an idea of how to uh, create tasks. And now if you want to create timesheets on that, let's uh, go back to our task. We have our test two task still exists. If we want to see what project it's in, it's in cell order five. So now when I want to add timesheets, I can do this in two ways as well. The first way is to go into the task, edit, click timesheets, and specify here the description, and add some time, three hours. That time has been added. And that, if it, depending on how I have it set up, would roll up through the order into the actual set order. And I see the delivered quantity is now three, and I could invoice for that three, those three hours. Now, the second way to add ta a ta uh, timesheet is to go to the timesheet app. Well, there's actually three ways total. And what you would do is you could go to all the timesheets, just look at here, and you can add a line. And this will allow you to specify the project and the task. And you can save this. And what that'll do is then you can go in here and specify any day of the week you want to add hours on. So we have Saturday, three hours here. And let's say I want to up that to five hours. And just like that, if we go back to that project, cell order five, through the task test two, into the cell order, delivered quantity now equals five automatically. So right where communicate as time is being entered, it's automatically being communicated to the invoicing and accounting departments. So that was the second way to add time. The third way to add time is actually going into a list view and creating an entry here where you specify the project, the task, and your time, and the date. And now we'll see here when we go to our tasks, and we filter out test two, and we drill into it, and go to the order, total delivered quantity is now 11. And the last way to enter time 
is by going to the timesheet app and using what's called the timesheet app, mobile timesheet app. Here, we can start working, stop working, specify a project, specify a task. I need to be assigned to that task. Oops, project sale order number five, test two, 10 hours, um, did some crazy research, save it. And now your team will have an aggregate of all their time spent today listed here. And of course, when I go back into that task, test two, timesheet, did some crazy research, 10 hours, there it is. And of course, if I go into the sale order, now we're up to 21 hours. So those are the different ways to both create tasks into projects and create time and attribute them to specific tasks. And just to confirm, in case it wasn't clear, on this, when I start and stop, I select my project, and then I have my dropdown of all my different tasks within that project. Right? So hopefully that's clear. If you have any additional questions, please let me know. Thanks.